Hi, hi all, and welcome to another show. Um, it's been a busy day for me. Um, what started off as um, an expose piece has just turned into four must listen to shows. <laughs> Oops. Don't ask me when they're coming out because I have no idea. But there we go. Um, here are some of the links for the donations to the TBC communal gatherings and myself, given some people have been having difficulties locating them. Now, for those who are on our social media pages, they are posted every week, all the links on the show post. Now, donations for the TBC and the communal gatherings can be found on our website, Think Different, or one word, dot thepeoplesclub.org. Now, for myself, it is on the thi-show.com page or PayPal using the email address tgwusauk at hotmail.com or you can go to my Patreon site and get all the transcripts of every show at patreon.com forward slash Tommy W. Uh, once again, thanks to, to all of you who donate to both causes. It is much appreciated. Small update on the village. The second of six land deals under contract is now concluded this week and we will have more updates next week this will be a deep pondering show this one as many of the pieces this week asks you to think long and hard on your thinking actions or role in life and how you can make corrections with it within yourselves but this week marks the start please take note of the new fear-based program that has been rolled back out again like a giant Ouroboros hamster wheel. And predictably, the teenage actress with Asperger's leads the way again. It would appear now to mark the end of the COVID news cycle, as the mainstream media, tired of being hammered by the narrative of COVID, and so now the shift is back to climate change. Suddenly in the news, items surrounding COVID and vaccines are en masse scaled back by the mainstream media and let's provide another distraction and wheel out fake experts to distract, guilt and shame the public. Predictably being led by the elites. Yet who is responsible for the energy mess? Who continues to use coal, gas and nuclear power when we've had free and clean energy for over a 100 years? Who continues to peddle gas-guzzling forms of transport, yet we have had alternatives for over a 100 years also? Who destroyed all the rainforests and natural habitats for their business ventures? Who made several holes in the planet for their insatiable greed via various mining projects? Who destroyed the oceans, dumping all kinds of toxic waste instead of spending money on safer options? Who destroyed our skies and crops with their chemical spraying and weather manipulation tactics? The main focus of efforts to curb global warming has been the ever-rising emissions of carbon dioxide from human activities, they say, such as generating power and clearing forests. But who created that? Who created the taxes on the people and yet didn't use it in a proper way? Who destroyed our children's health and teeth with their dumping of more toxic waste into the water system? Who stifled the peoples and the planet's progress with their educating and not teaching system, making people useless eaters because they have little to no knowledge of how to be different? Who destroyed the ozone layer by dispersing more toxic chemicals into the sky using rockets 
when we have had other, better, cheaper and safer forms of travel for at least 70 years. Who creates the excess methane that is considered a warming gas? The oil and gas people. Yes, in part farming, which is a necessity, but another issue because shareholders want too much money, core pirate companies want a throwaway society to generate more methane because it creates more shekels, which creates large landfills. Who invested in and created all the world's deadly arsenals, militarised and used deadly toxins, poisonous gases, nuclear weapons, plus other weapons of mass destruction? Who neglected the roads, the infrastructure, the parks and improvements because shareholders wanted all the profits? Who neglected the water system, sewer systems, electric systems that create massive fires because all the profits go to shareholders, not investment? Hello, Rothschilds, PG&E. Underground transport systems to again feed greed-based shareholders. Who overlooks the fact that we produce enough food for three planets per year, yet over half of the world are starving? Who overlooks the fact that 2.3 billion don't have access to a toilet, 1.3 billion don't have access to electricity, and 27,000 children per day die from malnutrition? Who bought up all the land and forced the population into denser and denser concrete jungles, then complain about the smog, when every man, woman and child could have 1,031 square feet of land each and all fit into Texas. It wasn't the people. It was the system of bloodline families, royalty, Hebrew Anunnaki and Elites. So if they are saying that climate change is a major problem, it is they who caused it and they who should address it and they who should pay for all of it. How about funding the clean-up of the above, Bezos, Branson and Musk, instead of dick-swinging contest of I was the first in space, when in reality, some of our members went long before them and their outdated tin cans and circumcised penis-shaped rockets thinking they are the new Osiris. They are the problem. Not create guilt-tripping programs and push the blame and costs onto the people. The solution they give to fix climate change. Give money to the UN. Really? People give money to 209 governments each year and yet they have never done anything. So why is giving money to a fake corrupt organisation of children fiddlers going to solve the world heating up? Will the UN send their peacekeepers to the sun and ask it to turn the heat down a bit? But the UN have peacekeepers. Have they ever made peace in any war zone? No, so they're incompetent. This was sent by a member. Courage is 200 on the scale of consciousness. Fear is 50. For many, it feels like a mountain to climb up that scale. For others, it is a reflex. I see so many forgetting that they even have courage inside of them pounding to get it out. Today I reflect on my own courage and debate its authenticity. Feels like my nappies or diapers were pinned together by hands that oozed courage. I am also aware that it has scattered many from my timeline as I boldly wore it like lipstick throughout my life. It has dawned on me today that maybe some see courage as a defect of character 
and something to be ashamed of rather than a stepping stone to freedom. Thank you.